Welcome to Girls Talk Scuba. Now you're probably wondering who on earth we are. I'm Ellie. I'm Emmy. And this is the podcast where we talk all things scuba. Including, but not limited to, education. They don't know whether to do a buoyancy course Mm. or whether they actually want to just get some more fun dives under their belt. Equipment. We asked you what the first piece of equipment you bought was and the results are in. And destination. I really want to dive in the Caribbean and I really want to go diving with sharks. Make sure you subscribe to never miss an episode. Hello and welcome to another episode of Girls Talk Scuba. Yes, we're back today and we have a really good topic to be talking to you guys with. And we're actually going to be looking at destinations today, which is, I think, one of the most favourable topics of this podcast. Um, So I'm excited. Just because I'm going on holiday. (laughs) Just because Hemi's going on holiday. No, but also to help you guys um, decipher, maybe you're looking at a couple of different destinations and you want the advice of others. And we have dived into the Girls That Scuba community to be able to get these answers for you as well. But before we do, I just want to ask you, how has your week been? And also, um, have you seen anything cool this week? Not this week because the water has been awful. But if I was to say like the most amazing, like mind blowing thing I've seen diving here, it's probably been the mola mola or mm. the sunfish or the moonfish, however you want to call it. Yeah, mola it's got mola. a few different names, isn't it? <laughs> no, I agree with you. It's actually in you know where we dive in Spain. I think it's actually something maybe one of the largest things we can see actually yeah. underwater because they grow incredibly amounts and uh, they're massive especially when we go along the Tarifa area that's where we see them a lot isn't it yeah I've seen a few of them just out on boat rides just bobbing on the surface and then I've seen two of them up close diving which is incredible and then one diving but it was kind of far away mm. I tried to swim to keep up but because you fast. you predominantly dived in Spain haven't you yeah and you haven't really dived elsewhere in the world no, this will be my first time diving elsewhere okay Emmy go on then give us the question for okay. this week what are you looking at going I'm and doing looking at going to the Caribbean because I really want to dive with sharks okay so you obviously asked the members of girls that scuba where is the best place in the Caribbean to dive with Caribbean. sharks? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I am sorry. I say it differently. I say Caribbean. I'm probably wrong. Um, let me know. <laughs> but Emmy says Caribbean. But we did ask the girls at Scuba community mm. and we gave the options of the following. Yeah, I said, um, so Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands. You have to apologize for my pronunciation here. I'm reading it all in Spanish. Roten Islands and Tobago Tobago Mm. yeah so you came in Bahamas was the first one with 47 votes Mm. Turks and Caicos with nine uh Roten Islands was six and Tobago was two votes as well so we thought we're gonna we're gonna decipher them we're gonna go through them go through go through a couple of your comments as well and just see really what you've decided on at the end as well (laughs) exciting um I do just want to clarify just quickly before we dive into the different places um if you are looking at diving anywhere with sharks, there are differing opinions about whether you should dive somewhere where they do shark feeding or whether you shouldn't. Um, personally, I'm just going to put that out there right now that um, do your research, whatever you feel comfortable with as well, um, and just find out from the dive centre that you're looking at going with or the, the dive um, what it is. You don't want to be surprised when you're actually diving yeah. if you if you do or don't. So I would just say research that primarily first and foremost. Um, but we're going to dive in. Um and I'm going to give you some... We're going to go to the Bahamas first. Okay. Ooh, we're travelling to the Bahamas. Um, so their their season for sharks really is November to May um, for, you know, mm. primarily the good, the good season to go. Um, tiger sharks are there from October to January. So if you're looking at tiger sharks, mm. then that's what I would suggest, October to January. And that's at Tiger Beach. The hammerhead is found at Bimini Bay, and that's from December to March. Okay. And then you've got the Oceanic White Tip, which is from April to June. Okay, well, I'm planning more October, November. Mm Mm-hmm. So you have a a good chance of seeing a tiger shark then. How exciting. Yeah, and a whale shark, apparently. Mm. But uh, about the Bahamas as well, it's a great place to dive because you do have 340 days a year of sunshine. Amazing. What else can you ask for? (laughs) Um, And in the summer, you've got about 88 degrees Fahrenheit, 31 degrees. um, And in the winter, it drops between 75 and 80 
24 to set 27 degrees now that's water temperature as well talking about diving mm, nice and warm then i mm. can actually wear a shorty for once <laughs> yeah you'll be very excited to go from spain to there i'm gonna drop my seven mil off and just have a two mil shorty perfect yeah and although a lot of people and i would be keen to get your opinions on this but um if i'm on a boat and it's the outside temperature is warm but you're you know you're going to have a long longer surface interval um just be careful because some people if it's a smaller boat and you're not allowed to take on a lot of belongings um then you can actually find you get really quite cold in between dives depending mm. on how cold you do get but something to keep in mind well i have the girls at scuba poncho towel to keep me warm <laughs> so it's fine so you're nice and tasty in between dives <laughs> yeah so what else did you find out about bahamas even from comments or well the bahamas i want i wanted to first see what sharks i was going to be able to see in the bahamas so i was able to see that you could see hammerhead sharks, tiger sharks, bull sharks, lemon sharks, Caribbean reef sharks, oceanic white tip sharks, silky sharks, and nurse sharks. There's so a lot quite of sharks. A lot of sharks to see. <laughs> That's but really good. I think the main one I want to see is the whale shark, mm -hmm. and then any, any other shark after that is just a bonus. Yeah, and I think the the thing is as well is that a lot on the poll that we did a lot of the comments in the um on the post were actually saying that like, if you want to def definitively see sharks go mm. for the bahamas because yeah. you're always going to see them there and you've got such a variety you can see why it's a uh, one of the top destinations to dive with sharks on yeah i i heard the tobago is it tobago was gonna be well i thought you were gonna be able to see a lot of sharks there but apparently after i've done a bit of research the viewings on sharks in the past few years have declined quite That's a lot sad. it is very sad so i don't think um not, uh, as well as the comments some of the comments mentioned that you won't see any in tobago oh, wow. so that one i think is off the list now i think it's also quite important when you are when i went to the maldives um we had different type of dive sites for, to see different things. So if you're going somewhere, do make sure that you definitely tell your dive centre or resort, I want, I'm coming here for this reason, or ask them, because it's always good to get yeah. the local opinion of when the best time exactly. is. Exactly. If anyone's going to know, it's going to be them. Yeah, and also just make it known, I'm coming here to see this in particular. I mean, if you're not, then that's fine. But, you know, if you're, if you're excited about something, because they do have special places that they visit to go and see certain mm. things, so that's always good to communicate your preferences and also what you would like to see. Yeah. Um, you've been diving with sharks haven't you i have in the maldives Tell me. yes i was um i was actually quite apprehensive at first and i think this is something normal that's completely yeah normal. um but no i did i went diving with sharks in the maldives and it was i was very spoiled it was an amazing experience and um it kind of took that apprehension away from me mm. and i think this is why it's amazing for people to interact and dive with sharks because it takes the thought of jaws out of your head and that perceptual that we've been given and it changes it to see them in their natural environment yeah and you know that they don't actually care about us at all no once that you're once you're at their level yeah they don't they can clearly see what you are it's not just something flapping around at the surface at the surface it's just some weirdo with bubbles coming out of it. <laughs> yeah just staring at it <laughs> um but no I, I you know and that's the thing that i love when people go and dive with sharks because often they come back and even though we know through research that sharks you know are, are very rarely bothered by us mm. um, but it does put your mind at ease seeing them and it's they're such a beautiful thing to see underwater as well so, so majestic i absolutely want to go and do it again and i've been looking at fiji actually because Ooh. fiji is somewhere i am dying to go um and see sharks with that sounds nice um but let's move on so we've got uh bahamas we've we've looked at turks and caicos next with nine votes so that was second mm. in the poll so I did a little research on Turks and Caicos on what sharks you can see there. And you can see grey reef sharks, mm -hmm. nurse sharks, lemon sharks, but they're often juveniles. Okay, that's um, interesting. So a little less variation than Bahamas, but still still quite... Also, I read on Turks and Caicos that you can actually dive there year-round. Um, and it's quite good uh, mm. year-round to see um, sharks, but it's not got a like a limited season or anything like that or particular dates so mm -hmm. that's that's quite good if someone's looking yeah. to potentially go and they're not sure yet which month they want to go then at least they can see something year round there so the next one i was looking at is roten and the sharks you can see there um well for me it just said well sharks all year round mm. which is just 
lights ding, going ding, off ding, in ding, my ding, head ding. like <laughs> wow but what i've wanted to do a bit more research is because obviously in different areas where you dive with whale sharks there's different rules mm. so like my friend in mexico she says whale shark diving is a no-no it's only snorkeling because it can be quite dangerous with such a big heavy i mean it's a whale shark and you <laughs> knock you out with its tail it's and a, you'll be out not a nudie brand kiss it no <laughs> So some places, um, environmental laws and all that, they won't let you dive with the whale sharks. You'll only be able to snorkel with them on the surface with a life yeah. vest on. It's interesting you mentioned about whale sharks, actually, because one of the comments in response to the poll was actually mentioning that um, the best time to see whale sharks in Watan is early October. Mm. So maybe someone has some inside info there, because it does say you can see them all year round, but mm. maybe if you want a guaranteed sighting, the best time to go is actually October. Then that's when I'm going. <laughs> that's, you're having an expensive year so far, aren't you? <laughs> um, but no, and again, in Rotan, they're saying that you can see hammerhead. They have 10 shark species there. Mm. Um, hammerheads, nurse sharks and silky sharks too just to name a couple of them um and there is i think in rotan it's very um limited to where you can actually do the shark dive um so i think it's one primarily um primarily dive with sharks um and they also just to let you know they do have a no gopro policy i don't know if that might affect your decision because i read about this from is it ocean ramsey the shark lady, yeah, Ocean Ramsey, I think it is. She um, dives with sharks all the time. She's a dive, uh, shark professional. And her number one thing is no GoPros. Mm. You know the the handle that comes with the GoPro, the yeah. yellow one? Any bright colours like that, yellow and white, are quite reflective to the shark and it catches their attention. So oh, you want to okay. avoid it at all costs. So if you have white fins, swap them out for black ones. <laughs> <laughs> let us know have you dived with sharks with um what color fins and yeah. <laughs> um, also they do mention in the rotan shark dive um it is fed it is a fed uh, shark dive it's a you'll see the caribbean reef shark um and they tend to come around in groups of five to twenty um and they're five to seven foot long and that's actually because some of them come in groups to actually mate together as well so that's quite a nice experience if you're interested in that and on last on the poll we have Tobago. Tobago. With two votes. So not very popular, Tobago. Now, that will be probably why it came up when I was doing research, that the sightings of sharks have declined mm-hmm. quite a lot. So That's really sad to hear. It did say hammerhead sharks and sometimes tiger sharks, but the life is declining there. Mm. I actually read on Tobago as well that bull, tiger and bull sharks if you do see them are most common between february and may mm. um hammerheads are january to march and um they also like to go to the sisters the two rock islands off the north coast so if you do want to dive with sharks and you're in tobago then do look at the north coast more because mm. that's where they tend to go during those months as well um but it's interesting, interesting. Yeah. it is interesting and you know the great thing is the girls at scuba community have such a big you know um collaboratively a massive um, yeah. inventory. I, I just want to quickly of- say thank you to everyone <laughs> that left a suggestion for me because I was really struggling to find like the right place. So thank you guys. Yeah, it's it's so helpful, especially when you're looking at going somewhere. Yeah, especially and, as a first timer. Yeah, I mean, I'm so excited for Yemi because it's going to be such an experience to dive somewhere else than Spain. Or, yeah. You know, because you've only ever dived in Spain. Yeah, uh, I know all of our dive sites like the back of my hand, and I'm <laughs> going to be put in a position where I'm going to be following else following someone else and trusting someone else to show me around i guess when you are looking at going on holiday as well and especially a dive holiday um what is your process of how you kind of get to your final destination i guess like so what do you what do you do do you do some research do you put it out and go scuba I did. um well the first thing i did was put out well uh, i did research first on places because i wanted to be somewhere warm mm-hmm. um so caribbean was the first option and then i put out the poll to see which area of the bahamas is good the bahamas the caribbean <laughs> is going to be best to see sharks because yeah. i want to cross it off my bucket list once i've done that and i've decided on the area then i'll go and look at the dive centers in that area and see which one suits me best and then once i've got that sorted i'll start looking at flights and accommodation excellent no it's yeah. really and i would also say if you're a bit apprehensive about traveling um and especially to a new dive center that you haven't been before obviously the girls at scuba community is great also check out the blog because there is a really good blog post on that about dive center red flags yes and just if you're not quite used to diving abroad it's always good to kind of keep an eye out for what you should be looking for what should be a red flag in mm-hmm. your mind um just so you keep safe as well while you're diving abroad 
I did have a question for you. Oh. Because I know that you've <laughs> you've dived abroad. So I want to know what you pack. What of you, all of your personal diving equipment do you take with you? All of it. All of it. I'm terrible. Yeah. Um. I. Mm. There is actually a reason behind this. Um. I do feel more comfortable in the water when I have my own dive gear. That's what I'm thinking as well, but I'm so worried it's going to get lost. No, I I mean, I put all the dive computer regulators and also depending on your insurance that you have, um, my insurance yeah. covers me for loss of equipment. Obviously, that would be extremely frustrating and annoying, but I would say um, it's definitely worthwhile having. <laughs> but yeah, I, I take all of it because I put my most expensive regulator and dive computer in my hand luggage. Mm. And then I have, you might get some funny looks when you go through security, by the way. It's happened to me twice. They look at me like, what is this? Um, but yeah, they, they will, um, it is, it's, it's useful I, for me to take all of my equipment. I know it will fit me properly. I know it's mm. in good condition. And more than anything, it makes my dive enjoyable. And especially if I'm going on a dive trip, I would rather take less normal clothes and just take more all of my dive gear. Yeah, because <laughs> let's be honest, you're just going to be in a bikini the whole time. Yeah. You don't really need much clothes. <laughs> no. So I tend to, yeah, I tend to pack quite lightly okay. and just use my dive bag and then pack And your BCD, you take that as well? I take everything. Okay. Even, this is actually quite funny, the last dive trip, excuse me, sorry, I went on, I went to the Barbados and um, I had uh my bcd and in my on my bcd i have two trim weights which is the pockets at the back um which is where you can put some kind of weights just to even out your trim if you need it or just however you feel most comfortable um but what's actually quite interesting is i usually have two half kilo weights in the back there i don't know what that is in pounds i'm sorry um and when I went to Barbados, I packed my BCD. Completely forgot I had trim weights in, in my back pocket. So I ended up getting to Barbados, and I was like, "Gosh, my BCD does feel extremely heavy." Um, and I and I found out I had my two half weights. So I actually wasted a kilo of oh, my no. allowance on lead. Yeah. So happy days. <laughs> um, Don't make that mistake. Yeah. Though. Check you haven't got any weights because that's what I tend to borrow is or rent is the weights and mm. the tank. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not packing my tank in my bag. Either. Oh, I'll be diving with a different tank. Yeah. It's another thing to consider when you when you go abroad. Yeah. yeah. It's, Ooh, it's all things to think about. But to summarise, guys, we are running out of time today. Um, we have asked the question, What? Um, where is the best place in the Caribbean to dive with sharks? And mm -hmm. our winner was the Bahamas. Bahamas. So I guess the last thing we have to ask is, what the have world. you decided on, Emmy? the bahamas yay so you're definitely you're gonna have a big selection I'm, of sharks i'm aiming to hopefully see some whale sharks bull sharks and maybe some smaller sharks so you just well. want to see some sharks yeah any kind of shark <laughs> um but my instagram will be popping after that yeah. the pictures i'll be getting i will be blocking emmy for <laughs> when she's away <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for joining us on girls talk scuba and make sure you do subscribe to um, the podcast and make sure you turn on the notifications and also rate it please if you can because that would be great and really helps us out as well but we will see you next time on girls talk scuba <laughs>